from NBC News, this is Today with Matt Lauer and Meredith Vieira, live from Studio 1A in Rockefeller Plaza. And welcome to Today on this Friday morning. I'm Natalie Morales. And I'm Lester Holt. Matt and Meredith have the morning off. Hope you had a good New Year. You I survived? I did. I survived with a bunch of screaming children, and they stayed up past midnight, so I was, I was with, surprised. I was with a bunch of screaming adults, it was, <laughs> and it was great actually being with the grown-ups, staying up past 10 o'clock at night. Exactly. That was a big change. <laughs> Meantime, the New Year did not bring a break in the action between Israel and Gaza. In fact, the invasion Because Israel wants to preserve the element of surprise. Natalie? All right. Tom Aspel at the Air is Crossing. Thank you, Tom. And right now we want to get a check of the other top stories of the morning. For that, we'll say hello to Amy Robach at the News Desk for Ann this morning. Amy, good morning. Hey, good, good morning. morning, Lester. Good morning, Natalie. Today, more snow is expected in parts of the northwest, an area hit with record snow already. On Thursday, some mountain passes in Washington state had to be closed for a time. Crews used explosives to try to ease the danger of avalanches. In Canada, avalanches killed a skier and a snowboarder at the Whistler Resort in British Columbia. Avalanches killed eight snowmobilers in the same province last week weekend. Police in Aspen, Colorado say a former resident there left bombs around town this week threatening mass death. A bank surveillance camera captured a picture of the suspect as he left gift wrap packages with notes indicating the boxes contained bombs prompting an evacuation. The suspect killed himself a short time later. Today in Thailand, relatives gathered to pray outside a burned-out nightclub where about 60 people were killed in a New Year's Eve fire. Cell phone video shot inside the club showed the countdown to tragedy with nightclubs filled with sparklers. Within minutes, partygoers were caught in a raging inferno and a deadly stampede. For the second day in a row, a suspected U.S. missile was fired into Pakistan near the border with Afghanistan. At least three militants were killed. And a Coast Guard search is underway off Florida's coast for a cruise ship employee who fell overboard Thursday. It happened as the carnival sensation was returning from the Bahamas. Well, most overseas markets are higher today on this first trading day of the new year. CNBC's Rebecca Jarvis is at the New York Stock Exchange. So, Rebecca, what are you guys watching there? Good morning, Amy. And of course, well, we are watching people the took the plunge on Thursday. From coast to coast, they took their annual New Year's Day polar bear swim. In Chicago, they actually had to walk through snow first before heading into the icy Lake Michigan. And look, they're smiling. It's nearly 7.07. Let's head back to Natalie Lester and Stephanie. Every year I see those pictures, and every year I'm like, why are they doing that again? Yeah, who does that? Oh, yeah, Meredith Vieira did that last year, right? Yeah. No way. Uh, no, not me. Al's off today, but joining us now from the Weather Channel is Stephanie Abrams with yeah. a look at our forecast. Welcome. Welcome. Nice Hi, to meet you. Hi, thanks. Here. Happy New Year. Happy, Happy New Year. Year. How long can we say Happy New Year for? Just the uh, next you know, week? I think you're good till Monday. Monday. Okay, at least through Monday. Yeah. All right, well, Happy New Year to you at home. Let's have a look at what's happening around the country. Unfortunately, we are going to continue to see the storms plowing through the Northwest. It's been never ending. We are concerned here about avalanches. Watch out for that in the Olympics. Also into the Cascades.